here is a review of the new Drake album Certified Lover Boy. First thing, let's start with the album cover. Let's just get it out of the way. What the hell is it? Just what in the world is it? And now that it's out of the way, Drake. Drake has been in a cycle of mediocrity for a long time. And I think I'm sad to say that it just kind of continues here. Uh, champagne Poetry has him flowing over a messy beat to say the least. It feels like the samples are fighting each other for dominance and it's kind of weird. The beat switch in the second half is good, though Drake definitely does worse in the second half. But overall, it's a good intro to the album. I don't understand Drake censoring though. I'm definitely thinking it's a, a diss to Kanye, definitely for what he did on Donda, but I didn't like it on Donda as well, so why do it here? Next we have Poppy's Home, I think it's good overall. Uh, I just don't understand him dissing rappers on pop tunes considering who he is. Like he's Drake, he shouldn't really be dissing people for going on pop tunes cause he's Drake. Uh, Girls Want Girls has just one of the worst lines in a hook I've heard this year. And Drake sounds bored in his verse and Lil Baby does some really good work though you won't really know that considering his voice is like his autotune is compressed and put on the top of your headphones and it's panned a really weird way so yeah Lil Baby does good it's just the production choice on this song was kind of questionable. Uh, next we have in the bible Drake gets better as it goes on again and again he just sounds bored to start with though Dirk does really good though and Giveon also does really good work and I don't understand the random guitars in the middle of this song it just adds nothing overall uh, I'm, I don't really understand it I don't uh, Drake finally has a good performance on over on uh, Love All Jay-Z does another really good verse and I think this is the first song I can truly say I overall did not have a lot of issues with and then then we have his song with Travis Scott it's the exact same performance like Drake's given the exact same performance on this song whilst Travis starts off kind of weird but again overall good feature from Travis Scott next we have way too sexy which samples a right said Fred song yes you know that one and why? Just why? And again, Drake gives a possible verse and gets outdone by a feature. This time it's Future, but Future just does better. Slightly better. However, Young Thug is the one who really shines here. I really like his verse. TSU. Again, Drake just sounds bored and gives the exact same possible performance. And I did not expect the beat switch though. That part was way better. Drake does some very really good work there. Next we have Pipe Down, meh, bad hook, good verse. That's all I have to say about it. And today, I actually really like this one. Future does great work and I, I get a sort of swimming pools vibes because it's him going deeper into the partying and in that lifestyle. So I get that vibe and I really like it. I really like what Drake does here in his performances. It's two very distinct performances and I appreciate that, that he felt the need to distinguish those two performances. No Friend in the Industry is great. Probably my favorite song on the album. Gives me massive energy vibes, which is one of my favorite songs of his. It's off, if you're reading this, it's too late. It was the single. And yeah, massive energy vibes. I, I love it. I love it so much. Knife Talk has a weird verse and a great verse from both Drake and 21 Savage. Both of them kill their first verse. And the second verse where they start trading bars, it's... It's weird. It is so weird because 21 Savage tries this higher register and Drake tries this weird quite of possible singing thing. It's just weird. It's just weird. 7am on Brittle Path. Sounds like a song on Because the Internet by Childish Gambino. Purely because of how many one-liners he uses. I do not like a lot of one-liners in a rap verse. I feel it's very cheap and very non-skill based and yeah it just shines on this song because yeah, it, it does not sound very skill-based. Next, we have Race My Mind's beat. 
it sounds so weak. Like the drums sound like a 2012 trap song in that they're just so weak. And it sounds like a Chris Brown song. Like it shouldn't even be a Drake song. Drake's verse at the end though is okay. Fountains, Afrobeat, one dance. Afrobeats, one dance. That's it. Th those are the words. Get Along Better starts, starts great. It sounds like a D'Angelo impression, though. It sounds like his best D'Angelo impression of Untitled, How Does It Feel? But he didn't give Ty Dolla Sign a full verse, man. Come on, that's that's an easy choice. That's an easy choice to give Ty Dolla Sign a full verse on that song. And he does it. And it kind of costs him. You Only Live Twice is another really good song. Rick Ross comes in really hard. I love his energy. Drake as well gives a, a pretty good verse. And Lil Wayne... Lil Wayne just does his thing, man. Like, he's not... It's it's a verse that's good, and you like it, but just... It's overall just okay. Next, we... Ha oh, yeah, also, I forgot to mention about the Lil Wayne verse. It's Kanye West's, Kanye West's all day. In the fact that he just used the exact same word to rhyme everything, and... Take it as you will. I think it's okay. I think that's completely fine. I Am Y2 was really underwhelming. You would really expect a lot between Drake and Kid Cudi, but it really isn't. Because they've made Kid Cudi do a verse, and I don't know, man. Kid Cudi verses are just always a bit weird, if they're especially if he's the featured artist. And Drake singing on the next track just does not work at all. Gives a very whiny feel, and I don't like that. And Remorse is a good, Remorse is a completely possible outro. Overall, this album's mid is just kind of mid. However, I'll remove a bit of points off mid because at some points that, that comes to the cost of the album and it really does not work. Overall, 4.8 out of 10. Like, in terms of the Drake discography, it's in the middle of the road.